This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. I'm on the Alien Dance Party lesson, and I'm on Puzzle 7 of that lesson. Finally, add a new bell sprite called My Bell. How creative of them. All right, let's do sprites, and we need a new... Oh, they've already set us up. Did they name it? Oh, they called it I. That's lame. Okay, so we need to click on I, and then we're going to say Rename Variable. And then they want us to call it my and then a capital B-E-L-L. -L. Notice you can't have spaces in a variable name, um, but programmers regularly will capitalize the second word in variable names just so you can read it easier. So let's rename my bell. When you click on it, make all the aliens start doing the same dance move. Uh -huh. um, so where is this bell going to spawn? 55. Oh, nowhere, because it's not attached. So I'm going to attach it way down here. And I'm going to move all this code out of the way. Whoop. So, that bell's on top of that alien. That's not what we want. Put my bell up here. When I click on it, all the aliens should do the same move. So, the event, when alien 2 is clicked on, nope. When my bell is clicked on... We need Sprite. Oh, nope, not to stop. We're going to have this Sprite begin. We're going to say spinning right. And then our sprite begin, and then we're going to do another sprite begin, and then a behavior of, I'm going to do spinning right, and so they'll all do the same thing, right? What will trigger this is when I click on my bell, the computer says, okay, my sprite, or I mean, alien one, do this, alien two, do that, alien three, do that. Okay, let's give it a shot. But uh <laughs> Oh, those crazy aliens. Awesome. Let's keep going.